Nearly two years since construction began, the Wollaston tea stop is back open, modernized and refurbished for red line commuters in Quincy. It was time, it really was. I'm so excited. I can't wait to see what the rest of it looks like. At first look, it's easy to notice the fresh face stop with new stairs and energy efficient lighting. But the biggest and most impactful changes are the ramps, elevators and escalators, making Wollaston fully accessible to riders of all abilities. It's got the handicap ramps, the elevators, the escalators compared to what it used to be. A thousand times better. As somebody with mobility issues, I'm excited for the accessibility, not just for me, but obviously for everybody else. The $36 million project is part of a five-year, $8 billion spending program for the MBTA. General Manager Steve Poftak says it's a testament to what can be done with full access to a facility and a glimpse of what's to come. It's very gratifying for to be able to show customers that you know change is happening, that we are making improvements to the system, and we we look forward to continuing that change. Improvements that include a full restoration of signals damaged from a June derailment that left redline riders with daily delays. T officials expect those repairs to be finished this fall. The rest of the red line issues are certainly much more impactful than one station missing, but um, this is progress, so I'll take it. <laughs> and just like we saw on the orange line, the MBTA is replacing train cars on the red line. They hope to have a full fleet, 252 of them replaced by 2023. In Quincy, Katie Thompson, WCVB News Center 5.